Hi, welcome back to our channel UiPath Bots. I hope all are doing good, right? Before we start up this video, I would like to request you to please subscribe our channel for more videos. Please click on the bell icon and select all. If you like the video, please share with your friends and this will definitely boost me to come up with new content with more and more practice sessions using UiPath. Now let us move on to this video. In this video I am going to share uh, a demo on how to record multiple applications. So we already uh, saw how to use the web recorder, app recorder in UiPath Studio to record the activities on an application when we are doing it on our browser. Now let us uh, move on to the next level. So multiple applications at a time using single recording session. So now in UiPath Academy we have um, a practice session where it is asking to generate a strong password. So we are going to generate a strong password uh, using an using an application using a a website which it has already provided the link it seems yes this is the link so going to this website we are supposed to have uh, our password by selecting some password length and uh, by selecting uh, some <coughs> predefined say uppercase lowercase numbers and symbols okay so this is one application which we are dealing with and one more application is our desktop application where we are going to copy this uh, generated password and pasting on a notepad. So here in this example we are dealing with two applications. One is this website and the other one is notepad. Using uh, In general in classic <coughs> we used to do this separately and then we used to copy that save, save all the activities were being recorded into our uh, studio and then we'll start a fresh recorder to another application but whereas here at a time we are dealing with multiple applications on a single recording session now let let us move on to the studio so now i have a separate sequence for this now let me start with the app recorder before that let me copy this let me open a new one. Okay, this is our website. Let me show you how it works. So I'll be having symbols, no symbols, and I'll be selecting something like 13 characters. Generate new password. So done. Right now, we are going to copy this and then we are supposed to paste it in a notepad okay so this is what we are going to do now let us go to our recorder see let me have a sequence okay app or web recorder what it will be doing uses a new approach for UI automation, an anchor based multi technology element identification system. It generates modern activities. So, earlier we used to create our anchors after we select the target element, but here it will be automatically uh, creating the anchors along with the target when we specify, when we specify the target. And when we click on the target, it will automatically identify the anchor. If it is not able to identify, it will throw some warning message to us. So as we, we can do it manually. Let us start this. Done. Now, let me select this is the target application. Now, what I am going to do, I will be giving some key 13, confirm, 
you can observe right it is automatically when I click when I select this and click it is giving <coughs> an anchor here okay so next next I don't want the symbols okay now and this symbols what I am going to do I am going to uncheck this okay uncheck so these two I am okay let, let us take some one more example no lowercase okay uncheck this okay so you could see all things or all the activities being saved here recording here in a sequence way I mean one one after one okay that, that's it so my password is going to be a 13 letter character length and no symbols in it and no lowercase that's it now click on this so as soon as I mouse over to the element so it is giving as a target one so before I click on it we can select n number of actions on it so get text type into or click I'm going to click this right I'm going to click this so that's it so it has generated a password generate a new password okay generated a new password and then let us copy this using this click okay so that's it now I would like to move on to the so I have performed many activities in this application now I would like to move on to the other application that is a notepad so I have copied the password I want to paste it in a notepad for that what you are going to do is you no need to stop and uh, create a new session of the recorder rather you can just pause it move on to your next application then start recording do whatever activities you want to perform on the new application see what I am doing I am selecting the notepad I would like to paste it okay confirm that's it got it so now let us stop this if you see here since that we worked for two applications it will automatically copy it will automatically take two use applications right form the difference right so this is one use application and this is one more okay so two containers been created automatically by the recorder one for the first application that is chrome or browser and one for our another desktop application that is for notepad similarly n number of applications can be recorded using a single session single recording session so now let us test this okay let me close this okay let me save it run the file it has to fail at one place I'll show you done now I'll show you something here see here the generated password is the one which is different which is uh, copied into the notepad why it happened why it happened is let us go to the view automation <coughs>
here into type into activity we just pasted the one which we worked with instead of this we are supposed to use a control v from our keyboard so let us edit this go to activities and take a keyboard shortcut right so as soon as we add any activities into this container it is automatically referring to this now we are supposed to use a keyword here uh, from our keyboard record shortcut from the keyboard i am using control plus v okay that's it so automatically it has taken i have not typed here rather i started the recording and then on the screen i have given the value whatever i want that's it so this is not required so what it will do whatever been copied in the previous one here in this browser been pasted in the notepad let me try it again let us run this file so it will be opening a browser selected the password length unchecked symbols and lower case copied right now let us see whether it is correct or not absolutely fine so let us stop this session so i hope you got this uh, simple example on how to record multiple applications using a single recording session so please do subscribe our channel for more videos and uh, if you like this video please share with your friends and colleagues meet you with the next video thank you so much for your support bye bye